I, I'd known about Bitcoin for a long time. Well, I knew about, I knew there was something called Bitcoin. Um, but, but I don't think I really took the time to actually study it until a time late in 2021, I think now, when um, I was approached to help some guys find someone to run a new program they're, they're launching for Bitcoin develop educators, uh, Bitcoin developers called Kala. So it was a program that was going to train African Bitcoin in, uh, software engineers about Bitcoin development and get them into a job in Bitcoin. Yeah. And they were looking for a director of operation. So they reached out to me yeah. um, purportedly to help them find someone to run it. Um, when they reached out, um, I think first I, I, I'd, I'd known about Bitcoin, but I never knew about the engineering side of Bitcoin. And so that was the first time I was saying anything about the engineering side of Bitcoin and that there were opportunities there. So I said, okay, this looks interesting. Let me try and understand it some more so I can know who in my network I can recommend for the role. Um, and and that, that actually took me then down the rabbit hole. Um, as we say in Bitcoin, I, I went to check out a few blogs, um, went to download the Bitcoin standard, started reading it, never finished it. But I think halfway through the book, I it started to I started to see the bigger picture. Um, I, I'd only known Bitcoin as this cryptocurrency that people buy, the price goes up, you you, you make money. I started to see that the picture was different. The picture was bigger. There's a bigger game at play around money, um, and its role in development, which is never really talked about that much. Um, there's there's bigger conversations around just generally beyond yeah. Africa and, and developed world yeah. conversation about how money is just broken generally um, and yeah. and I started to see that that the yeah. philosophy the thinking yeah. behind why Bitcoin was created yeah. um, was yeah. showed some promise as a potential tool that we could use I've, I've always been passionate about African development I think I built my career working um on solving problems around Africa and, and trying to improve quality of people in Africa. So I guess for me, as I started to study Bitcoin, I realized this was a tool that could be used for that same fight. Um, and it made sense for me to find a way to be part of that fight. And so I went back to those, those folks and said, hey, what if I actually ran the operations of this organization for you? And and we we had great terms. I started running uh, running that which was Kala, which ended up being becoming Beatrice Builders. And as they say, the rest is history.